All right, let's talk about whether or not we're in a recession, and you give me the definition of what a recession is, uh, and uh, maybe tell me how you're doing uh, with the uh, the current economic climate. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. You can call in live and local at 217-629-7970. You can also email Bishop on air at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, just uh, make that happen and uh, sound off. Uh, but the best way to do it is to call in live and local. Again, 217-629-7970. That's the phone number here. With Springfield's Morning News, I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk. So we got the news just about a half hour ago that uh, the Bureau of Economic Analysis putting out new gross domestic product numbers for the second quarter of 2022. And the national picture is... Now, we shrank again. Uh, so the first quarter was about 1.6% of negative growth. And at that point, everybody's like, well, if we get another quarter of this, we're going to be in a recession. Indications were that, uh, especially when you look at some of the major retailers, peeling back uh, uh, their purchasing, uh, putting out notes about uh, the, the, the consumers not buying as much. Uh, and then we get the official number from the Bureau of Economic Analysis about negative growth again for a second quarter in a row, which is by many definitions and for years has been what a recession is. So before these numbers came out, it was kind of interesting because you had a series of uh, White House officials trying to redefine what has typically been known as a recession. And I want to share with you at least a, a clip from about 24 hours ago of uh, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, uh, being asked questions about what the definition of a recession, because again, for years, it was a general kind of understanding, yeah, there's a lot of factors involved in the economy, but a recession could be when you have two quarters of negative growth. And now we have two quarters of negative growth. Here's uh, Karine Jean-Pierre talking about this issue uh, during a White House press briefing just yesterday, I believe. If things are going so great, though, then why is it the White House officials are trying to redefine Recession. No, we're not redefining recession. If we all understand a recession to be two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth in a row, and then you have White House officials come up here to say, no, 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 that's not what a recession is. It's something else. How is that not redefining recession? Because that's not the definition. That is not the definition. Brian Deese said in 2008, of course, economists have a technical definition, which is of a recession, which is two consecutive quarters of negative growth. I can tell and you this. He said two, consec two negative quarters of GDP growth is not the technical definition of a recession. It is what not. Changed? It is not. Why did he say that? It, it was, is not. I can I can speak to I can speak to you to what he said yesterday in front of all of you, which is the last thing that you just repeated. There are many factors. There are many factors, economic factors and indicators to consider, uh, and. I will say that uh, the textbook definition of recession is not is not two negative quarters of GDP. So there you go. Uh, it's the White House again, uh, seeming to provide a different interpretation of what a recession is. Uh, and you even had um, uh, President Joe Biden uh, the other day say that he doesn't think we're going to be in a recession. Uh, but when you talk about the actual definition. Uh, in 2019, an advisor to President Obama uh, said a recession is typically defined as two consecutive quarters of declining growth. And we've had that. Definition aside, how are you handling this? How are you handling the economy? Uh, because a lot of different factors are going to play out here, uh, including uh, you had the Federal Reserve increase interest rates again. Uh, you have the flood of federal money that seemed to be printed out of thin air. Uh, and, uh, and you also have in the works uh, the, the in historic inflation, which on average across the board accelerated from the month before to 9.1%. But that's on average across all the different goods that you have to use to survive. Fuel oil increased nearly 99% nearly a 100% increase uh, over the year. So how are you handling 
the economic conditions. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. 217-629-7970. You can also email bishoponair at gmail.com. Or you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Just search out Bishop on Air and we can connect that way. I don't think we're going to you know shy away from talking about this more in the future. So uh, definitely stay tuned. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY Springfield's News and Talk.